following surgery, we then talk about adjuvant therapy. Adjuvant just means in addition to. So that means the treatments that we would use after a diagnosis is made and after the preliminary surgery is done. Those treatments depend on the type of cells that are in the breast cancer. And this is where knowing that subtype of breast cancer is very, very important. If we see that the cells have the receptors for the estrogen and progesterone hormones, that is they are ER or PR positive, then we know that using what we call hormonal therapy, which is actually anti-estrogen therapy, is very, very effective in reducing the risk of recurrence. In fact, this type of hormonal therapy can cut the risk of recurrence almost in half. And it also helps to prevent breast cancers from developing in the opposite breast. There are many different types of hormonal therapy. Most of these treatments are in pill form, and we use drugs that either block the estrogen receptors or medicines that stop the production of estrogen in the body. The choice of which hormonal therapy is most appropriate for you is a discussion that you would have with your physician. If a cancer expresses HER2 nu, which is another protein that we can see on the surface of the breast cancer cell when we study it under the microscope, if we see a very large amount of this HER2 nu, then we know it's important to block the activity of that protein the HER2 new protein makes the breast cancer cell more aggressive. And again, we have several options for blocking the activity of this HER2 new protein. We can use a monoclonal antibody treatment, which is given intravenously, but we also have some oral therapy using pills which target the HER2 protein and its message inside the tumor cell. So by turning off, by switching off the message from that HER2 protein with newer medicines that we have, we call this targeted biologic therapy, we have a very, very effective treatment for this subtype of breast cancer.